Hi everybody. So we finally have it. I did this video already and again my uh, video camera had problems and it got erased. But we're going to show you how to do the anchor necklace that I made. And um, some of these supplies are hard to find so I don't know if you guys can get your hands on something similar or something close to it so you can create it yourself. I'm going to show you a couple things to get started that we're going to need. You're going to need a Dremel tool, which is like a little drill, um, um, some attachments for it, um, a little gold pendant. This is plastic. I used to do a lot of jewelry with plastic. Um, it's hard to find the plastic, but if you can find it and have it cut to size, then you're going to have to smooth it out or something else you can glue or attach these things to. And then the gold chain and then the little um, fixtures the clasp to close it on the end. So I'm going to change camera angles and I'll show you how you too can make your very own anchor necklace. <laughs> Bye. Or not by, but we'll just change angles. You know what I mean. Okay, so here we have all of our tools. This guy came with a little attachment thing on there, but I just clipped that off because it was ugly and we don't really want that on there. So now we have our plain little anchor and then we need our plastic, the piece that we're going to glue this on. And it's really sharp and it comes with this little protective seal, which I'm going to peel off. I could use my nails, but I just already ruined the polish I just did in the last video, so I'm going to try to remember that they are jewels and not tools until you can't get it off and then you have to use them as tools. So we're going to pull this off and I'm going to use turquoise plastic because I used another color, white in the other one. So then we're going to take our tape measure and I'm going to double check this guy. I think he's about, he's a quarter of an inch in and a quarter of an inch down from the top. So I'm going to mark that same measurement, quarter of an inch down. Then you can take like a Sharpie pen or something and I'm going to mark that line right there. Mark a quarter of an inch right here. And then a quarter of an inch in. And kind of make that a bigger line so I know where to drill. Do that over here with this guy, quarter of an inch in. That's where he's going to be. Then you have a couple options for your Dremel tools. This is a battery powered one. These are great and handy. Um, they're not as powerful as this guy. So I'm going to use my, my multi pro Dremel tool. And you want to use a really high speed because the faster the speed is, the less this is going to get stuck in the plastic. So I'll push it in a little bit and then I pull it out and then keep going till you poke a hole all the way through there. So I'm going to use this to hold an edge so I'm not drilling into my table. So we'll just rest that guy there. High speed. If you want to be safe, wear your safety goggles. If not, don't close your eyes because then bad things will happen. So we got it on pretty high. Now we're just going to go right down. So now we have our two holes, and you want to be careful because it gets really hot, and those pieces are really hot that come flying out at you. So we can now take this paper off of here, off the back, and um, you can get. I got my plastic in LA at a plastic supply place. We're gonna smooth the edges out. I'm just going to put the drill in like that and then I'm just going to wiggle this around so that these edges aren't sharp so when we put the chain in they'll, they'll move smoothly. Now the edges on this are really sharp and pointy and square and that's going to dig into your neck and scratch it up real bad. So you're going to take your fitting and what you do is you push into this little button, then you twist this guy, he pops right out, and we're going to put the handy sander one right on there, then you're going to twist this down so it locks and let go of that guy and he'll come undone. Then we're going to sand and smooth out all these edges. And I'll do it real fast and it takes a long time to get it smooth so I'm not going to show you guys everything but um, that way you don't hear drilling for hours and hours. And we'll do this 
side. And then this side. Then all these flat edges are kind of sharp too, so I'm going to sand these guys down too, like this. And then this process will take a very long time, like 10, um, 10 more minutes to, fig to finish doing, so I'll do that and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I have all this smoothed out now, and then the bad part is I realized I'm out of this gold chain. So I'm just going to show you guys how you would attach it, and then you can imagine doing it to both sides. So now that we have this guy and we have this, we're going to use my favorite super glue, the E600 Industrial Strength Craft Adhesive that will glue anything to anything. And you want to get this in clear. And then it can be hard because the cap will glue itself on. So we're going to undo this guy, and it's real stringy. And you're going to turn this guy over, and then you're just going to evenly put little thin, thin goopy amounts of this stuff all along here and hopefully um, we're going to wipe some of this off. Try not to get it on yourself if you can. So we're just going to put these globs on here. Get all the major corners that are going to touch and then just set that on something that is okay if it gets glued to. Then once this is all messy and full of glue we're going to put it right down in the center of your plastic right there. And we'll hope that that is straight. Then I'm going to take something fabric-like and wipe the rest of the excess glue off with. And it looks like my fabric of choice is going to be a paper towel. So this, um, you're going to try to wipe off as much as the excess as you can because you don't want that glue all, it's just ugly to have glue showing everywhere. And I got this little anchor at Michael's, which is a craft store, and this was on clearance. It doesn't look like they have very many more of these. And then the gold chain, that's going to be a little hard to get. You could probably find it online if you looked. And then also um, the, the plastic, that's another one that will be a little hard to get. And hopefully we'll get all of this glue off. So I'm going to get all the rest of the glue off and then I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, so after you attach the anchor, you're going to take your chain. And I believe this measures out to be 6 inches of chain. Or 7 inches, I'm sorry. 7 inches to reach the back of my neck anyways. And this is short. This is 6, six inches. So I'm just going to show you guys. So you're going to take one of the links and you're going to open them with your... Um, you're going to stick this guy in here and then you're just going to pull them open with your hands you're going to act like you're going to open these prongs and that's going to stretch him open like that. So you're going to feed him through here then you're going to take this guy and you're going to put him inside the little open clampy part then you can either put some fabric or tissue if you don't want to scratch the metal and then just squeeze, can you see, I'm just going to squeeze that guy shut. Then you have your sturdy chain like so attached to the plastic piece. Then to attach the in part, the, the fitting part, which is like this little fitting that you're going to need a little clasp, something like this, one of the kind that twists or anything like that. Um, you're going to do the same process. Take an extra one of these, open this up. Um, we'll act like this is our clamp fitting. You're going to close him like that. And I have some lobster claw fittings, but they don't really match, but I'll show you anyway. Okay, so I don't have a gold one that matches right now, but I'm going to just show you with the silver. So this is kind of a clasp one. You're going to hook him in there. Do the same thing. Hook it through the end. Pinch that guy shut. You have your clasp. Hook it to the other side. And then you have your necklace that looks like so. So hope you guys enjoy it. Um, go out and find your parts, and maybe I'll auction this one off if I find enough chain to make the rest of the necklace. <laughs> Bye, guys.